OMG, it stings, it, it stings really hard. Oh my gosh, it even made my eye water. And the funny thing is that they wrap it in a sheet of newspaper. This is interesting business, a nail clipper. I feel like it bounced a fingernail right here in my soup. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to another edition of Luisillo El Gordillo. This time we are in Nigeria, the most populated country in the whole African continent. Super warm, super friendly people, and something tells me that their street food will have a lot to offer. What delicious and fattening things our Nigerian friends will devour. That's what we're about to find out. Let's hit it. Like so many places. Of course, instant noodles are all the rage here. We came across this little stall that could not be more street. Very authentic here, my friend, giving it hard or cooking in his bombonera. I like that his little pot to cook the eggs is shaped like a little heart, very romantic. My friend cooks with love, and for my cooking, it was the equivalent of a dollar. He prepared me an instant chicken-flavored soup. Plenty of oil, of course, and two scrambled eggs, two eggs and some noodles for a dollar. Look pretty good, pretty decent. Look how funny, right here behind me. This is an interesting business. A guy who cuts fingernails and keeps his sales close to that. Scissors, a razor, her nail oil, her sponge. Man, is brutal. What a beauty, what a cool thing to do. Look, I feel like I bounced my little fingernail here in my eggy fingernail soup. How delicious, how brutal. Not even the fingernails. It's not the only thing. We are seeing that here they are also cutting the hair of a friend of mine. They are giving him a cool and sophisticated haircut. I hope the breeze doesn't come from there to here because look, now it's full of nails, hair and sand. All that for a dollar, eh? Big offer? Well, come on, let's try to enjoy the soup even if it has all the necessary ingredients. Enjoy. How it crunches. Well, it's the nail that crunches. Well, obviously nothing fell out of it is a joke, really. It's delicious. It is curiously spicy. Yes, here people eat, I say spicy. Everybody puts pepper on everything and they like it, don't they? Does it poison them? Hmm. There is not much to describe. Well, what it is is an instant noodle with egg, with hot pepper. What a laugh that we came to make B-roll of the haircut and good vibes. Since they had already finished cutting, a guy got up and said, I offer myself and they are not cutting his hair. They are acting here exclusively for my video. The people here are very cool. My buddy came up to us and said, hey, I want to show you my talent. So I told him, okay, that's not your talent. I think he sings, let's see. That is getting very authentic. We walked in now to a very inexpensive budget kitchen where from the moment you order it all feels very real. People in line are crowding in to be served their plate. There are those who order to eat here on these platters. There are those who order to take away. There are the cooks and the specialty here is soup with amalak. Amalak is a cassava flour with water that is very thick. It's actually quite sticky and they put it on your plate and on top of that you can order some chicken, some fish, some soup to your liking. The most impressive thing about it is that a dish like this is the way they gave it to me. I ordered it that way because I said I am not very hungry. I asked for everything to try a little for myself. I see that they sell it for 200 niaras, which is something like zero don't 20 dollar. Now yes, I have been given a local price. This one does make a lot more sense. Wow, well, come and taste everything. It's super potent. I haven't been stung. It stings me very hard and people eat it, but as if nothing happened. 
Our friends eat well, but very spicy. Ay caramba, even my eyes cried, but look how delicious it is. It's a very tasty seasoning. Now, of course, it's very cheap because you get more bone than meat. That is, it's much more bone and skin than the maquisa as such. However, if I see myself filling up with this, I'm starting to feel that people already want to occupy this chair and say that this tourist is just recording and he should go to the burger. But it is very rich, very tasty, very authentic, and above all, extremely cheap. As they always tell me that I can't stand spicy food and I don't know what I'll do, here it is, I'll do it here. It is corroborating, it's very spicy, Rika, very spicy. Okay, it's here. They brought him water and everything. It itches like it does around here. So they can say it's not Luisilo El Gordillo's thing. Yes, this thing is really spicy. The Nigerians give heart to the chilito, to the pepper. Another thing that is very common in street food is urban farms. You see in the middle of the city large concentrations of chickens, ducks, an animal they call guinea fowl. They prepare it in the same way, very spicy, with lots of roasted pepper fried to your liking, and it is very tasty and economical. It's good, it's very tasty. They tell me that in fact it is not chicken as such, that it is another type of poultry. Very tasty and very friendly. The people, they give you chicken. It's delicious, it's spicy. The truth is very good. This little stall that we have come across is the ultimate representation of Vien, how warm and friendly the people are, and also of the main dishes. Lots of yucca, fried potatoes, plantains, and this little cake called a cara, which is a fried bean cake. Ah, it's delicious. You know what I mistranslated? It's tofu is what it is. How funny that they eat tofu. Here they put a spicy sauce on it, which for now we won't try because I've already had bad experiences these days. Believe me, my tummy feels it. Always appreciated a good intervention of Luisilo, the drunkard Chilo. And I don't know if you know the nightlife of Lagos. Nigeria is legendary. It is famous all over the continent. All Africans are like that today. I want to party sometime in Lagos, Nigeria. The nightclubs are hardcore. They close until 9 o'clock, 10, 11. And in fact, Nigeria is the country in Africa that consumes the most alcohol. This, of course, because of the millions of people who live here. And yes, it is obvious, alcohol is sold everywhere all the time. A large percentage of Nigerians love to drink. Now we come to know one of the most famous and iconic clubs, which is called the New Africa Shrine, the African Temple of the Night Way, which as a fun fact, the founder of this place used to be a well-known Nigerian musician. It is said that he was one of the fathers of African beats, which is a musical genre that is now breaking like reggaeton in Latin America so strong. And this guy actually has a very curious international record of marrying more women in the same day. My brother married 27 women in one day. A very interesting thing, very curious. So, well, let's wait for the night to fall, enjoy ourselves, have a few drinks, dance, and then try some of the food that is on the night streets. I'm not ashamed to say that I stopped by for a couple of fun beers in there. And while going out, we found a bit of the gastronomic nightlife, which is quite wide, but not extensive. What I mean is that there are a lot of stalls, but they all sell the same things. The instant soup, the frozen chicken leg. That's interesting, so far ice cream, but it's a hot dog. And what caught my attention the most was the carne asada. Here they roast your carnita, add onions and spicy, of course spicy. And the most curious thing is that they wrap it in a sheet of newspaper. So my friend, that's how you solve the crossword puzzle, just like that, okay, here, yes. And after that, he grabs it and says, okay, there goes your food, shall I wrap it up for you? Take all this delight for a thousand idas, the equivalent of a dollar, the ink flavor is included, it's free. Let's taste and let's go inside. There is not much to explain, it is what it is. 
Ah, well, look, I don't know if that's how they eat here or if my friend is in a hurry because it's really super raw, very raw, even tasty. And I know that many people love it raw, but for my taste, it's a little raw. They take advantage of the fact that everyone goes out drunk. Eat it as it is, my friend. Hey, and indeed, you can tell that people are giving him a hard time. Do they sell you more drinks on the street or so you can take them with you? Well, you can drink on the way. They prepare the cocktail of your choice. They also sell you coffee and energy drinks so you can follow the party. Ah yes, these friends are ready to stop until dawn. As for me, I'm off to rest unless something tempting catches me on the way. Oh well, indeed, it has been devoured in excess. It has been drunk a little too much. We also had a great time in this gastronomic adventure in Nigeria. Beautiful people, beautiful territory. Indeed, they eat too much, too delicious. Thank you very much for joining me. See you as always. You know it in a new video.